Researchers have developed a new cancer treatment pill. The doctors behind it say it contains a molecule that can be, quote, a cancer killer. Dr. Marty McCarry joins me now. Doctor, uh, this just seems too good to be true. What do you make of it? Well, that's right. You know, ever since I was a kid, I remember on television seeing stories in the news that we are, are on the brink of curing cancer. But this is really a new class of medication that's been recently reported. It is a targeted therapy. So it identifies a very specific receptor on the cancer cell and then targets those cells. It's not sort of general body poison as a lot of chemotherapy is that kills healthy and cancerous cells alike. This is targeted therapy, which is why it seems much more promising. Now, it's nowhere near going into the pharmacy yet is, or into hospitals. It's nowhere near that. You've got to go through all kinds of trials and tribulations before that, I guess. That's right. It's in phase one clinical trial, so we're looking at at least a year. It, but it has been tried in the laboratory on breast cancer cells, prostate, brain cancer, ovarian cancer, skin, lung. Mm -hmm. So there are many uh, types of cancers that appear to be expressing this particular molecule called PCNA, which this new drug uh, targets. The new drug is so new, it doesn't even have a name. It has a number. I, I just worry about raising false hopes. You know, you go on the air and you say you've got a cancer-killing pill, and anybody with cancer is thinking, oh, I want this. I don't want to raise anybody's hopes above the rational expectation. Last word to you on That's this. Right. For, about, for every 20 promising developments we hear like this, maybe one will actually turn into a therapeutic. And remember, our problem is not killing cancer in one location. We have many ways to do that, cut it out, radiate it, poison it. It's when cancer has spread, that's where the challenge has always been in the care of cancer patients. Uh, please deal with this one, doctor. We had a report in our last hour that cases of leprosy have been on the rise in Florida over the last decade. Uh, raising my eyebrows here, leprosy, doctor, in Florida, what's going on? That's right. There, first of all, there's almost a quarter million cases a year worldwide. We just don't see it in the United States. It requires a lot of contact and respiratory contamination. It's not easily transmitted. It's not highly contagious. But in the past, we've seen cases each year from travelers to, within the United to the United States. And now we're actually seeing some community transmission in Central Florida, about 159 cases. Uh, that's a lot more than we typically see. 81% of all cases in the U.S. right now are in Central Florida. Can it be contained quickly? Um, it's a chronic disease, but yes, I think people who have it have a characteristic feature and they're going to be more cautious and people are less likely to interact with somebody who has those clear features. Dr. Martin McCarry, always good. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see you again real soon, doctor. Thanks very much. Thanks, Stephen.